What's up everybody, Joey here. Uh, we are on Lake Simcoe today chasing whitefish. I just wanna share with you guys a quick little video on how to, how to catch whitefish if they're being real finicky. Um, and especially if you're in like places like Kempenfelt and you're in deep water areas and lures aren't really working for you, this rig right here has caught me a lot of fish. It's just a simple spreader right here. Traditionally, you would have a spreader on a tip up. So what I have is a spreader on a rod. And now you might be asking, why do you have a spreader on a rod? It doesn't make sense. But ideally, I'm using a tip-up, just a traditional tip-up and a rod. Back in the days, you would have your line on your tip-up, you'd drop the spreader down, and you'd hit the bottom in about 100 foot of water, and the minute you'd see this tip-up kind of tilt back, you'd grab the tip-up and set the hook. You'd be basically lining up 100 foot of line. You don't really want to do that. It's messy, especially if you're in a hut with a lot of gear. It's a lot of work. I mean, you're going to be tangling, the fish is going to be a disaster. Everything just becomes a disaster. But this little rig has caught me a lot of fish and it's very efficient. And all you do is you tie a spreader on top, on your rod, right here, just like with your leader. And you put your two minnows, obviously your two live minnows. Okay, you put your two live minnows. I'm not gonna use minnows right now, just because I wanna do a quick little tutorial. But you just hook your minnows in the head on the spreader. And what you do is you just drop down the spreader. You drop down the spreader on your rod, just like you would fishing in 100 foot of water. Doesn't matter how deep you are, you're allowed two rods a person, you can utilize your chances of catching a whitefish much better like this. So, now I hit bottom. What I'm gonna do is, if I have like a rod holder, ideally a rod holder would be perfect. I'm just gonna use this like, this case right here for example, I'm gonna have it on the ice, and all I'm gonna do is lay this down, just like that. I wanna make sure I have a good slack in my line. Here's the biggest trick that you wanna do by using a tip up in your rod. And what you wanna do is, I already pre-cut it, but all you want to do is grab like a knife or something and cut on the top notch. You want to cut that top notch, make a little groove in there. And if you, and if you can see, there's actually a little groove right behind my finger. I'm not sure if you can see that. Can you see that? So that little groove is going to act as a hook keeper uh, to hold my line. So essentially, once my spreader hits the floor, all I'm going to do is reel up my line just so it gets a little bit tight. All right. And the minute I get that slack, okay, all I'm gonna do is just make sure I'm not lifting the spreader off the floor. Use that crack, that cut that you did at the beginning. You could put your line in that crack, okay? That little, at the tip of that teeter-totter, okay? Slide your line in pretty good. Get a good nudge in there. And now you can adjust your line. Like if there's too much slack here, if you zoom in right here, for example, the, the line that's up this side, not the top side, the bottom side, if there's too much line, all I really can do is just hold the teeter-totter, slide it back just so it gets a little tight. Okay, you can give it a little bit more. Perfect. So the minute that fish grabs that line on that spreader and lifts up, you see how that tip up rises? You grab your rod and you set hook in that fish and you reel up the fish with your rod. And that is such an efficient way. You don't have any tangles and you can fight it just like if you had a lure. So that's a quick little way of catching these fish and it's not hard to set it up. It takes a couple seconds to set it up and it absolutely crushes these whitefish. If you're really having a trouble catching one this year, uh, whitefish are not an easy fish to catch. I've had a lot of trouble with them in the past and a lot of people still do have trouble with them. The main thing is, it's just using different techniques, especially in the location you are. I mean, if you don't have a, a machine and you're fishing Kempenfelt, like areas like Kempenfelt, I mean, it's adamant that I use a tip up. Um, there's a lot of hut operators out there. They love the chum. It brings the fish in. And unfortunately, lures just sometimes don't work. The easiest way to do it is mimic what they're eating. Minnows. <laughs> put a live minnow on, put a spreader on, get yourself a tip up, and I guarantee you'll catch a whitefish. Check this rig out. Grab yourself one of these, one of these tip ups, and I guarantee you'll put some whitefish on the ice. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.